Welcome to Her Remarkable History. Remember to support our channel, please subscribe. The incredible burials of the Henry VII Lady Chapel. Westminster Abbey is one of the most notable and famous religious buildings in Britain, and it has been used for centuries as a site of royal burial. It's also where all English and British monarchs were crowned and have been crowned since William the Conqueror was there in 1066. Also, since 1100, 16 royal weddings have taken place at the Abbey, but despite being a royal burial site, it is also where 3,300 are laid to rest. Inside at least 16 monarchs, 8 prime ministers, poets, actors, scientists, military leaders lie among the unknown warrior inside of the iconic church. But there is part of Westminster Abbey which has a rich history and it was paid for by the will of the first Tudor monarch. Inside of Henry VII's Lady Chapel, there are a number of incredibly important people buried inside. The Lady Chapel has a three-aisled nave which has four bays, and inside the chapel is the asp in the altar, and behind that are the tombs of Henry VII, his wife Elizabeth of York, alongside James I, but what is the story behind this chapel and who else is buried there? In 1502, Henry VII planned to build a new chapel onto Westminster Abbey, and the old one that stood there was demolished, and the foundations were begun to be crafted in the January 1503. But when he wished to build the chapel, Henry VII had a few plans for it. Firstly, he wanted to hold a shrine that would contain the body of King Henry VI, who he believed would be made a saint. This did not happen. But it's interesting to consider that Henry VII wished to honour the man who fought against the House of York during the Wars of the Roses. Also, he wished to create a chapel that was dedicated to Mary, or the Virgin, and he also wanted to create a royal mausoleum where he and his family would be laid to rest. He planned that the Tudor dynasty would last centuries and wished for his heirs and grandchildren to be placed alongside him in his huge, elaborate chapel in the heart of the abbey. He also wanted the Lady Chapel to become a site where people would venerate him, and also where he would be considered a legitimate king in the heart of London. He gave over £14,000 for this chapel's construction, and after his death he allowed more money in his will to finish off the Lady Chapel, and it cost around £20,000. When Henry VII died and was laid to rest there, it was written, he lies at Westminster in one of the stateliest and daintiest monuments of Europe, so that he dwells more richly dead in the monument of his tomb than he did alive at Richmond in any of his palace. This meant that Henry's tomb was far more ornate and grand than any of his royal palaces, saying that he was in more luxury in death than in life. But Henry VII and his wife, Elizabeth of York, are not the only royals buried inside of the Lady Chapel. Queen Anne, who is regarded as the last Stuart monarch of England, was buried inside of the chapel alongside her husband, Prince George of Denmark, following her painful and tragic death. The wife of King James I of Britain, Anne of Denmark, is also buried inside, as is Caroline of Ansbach, the Queen of King George II. Another queen interred there is Catherine of Valois, who was married to Henry V and gave birth to King Henry VI. Catherine was left unburied for centuries and her remains were on display inside of the abbey for a long while. It was said by diarist Samuel Pepys, On Shrove Tuesday 1669 I went to the abbey and by favour did see the body of Queen Catherine of Valois and had the upper part of the body in my hands and I did kiss her mouth, reflecting upon it, I did kiss a queen. And this my birthday, and I thirty-six years old, and I did kiss a queen. Catherine was not properly reinterred inside of the abbey until the reign of Queen Victoria, and today is found inside of the Lady Chapel. King Charles II, known as the Merry Monarch, and the son of the executed king, King Charles I, is buried inside, as is King Edward V. However, his story is a little more of a mystery, Inside the Tower of London during the Wars of the Roses, the heir apparent Edward V and his brother were held awaiting the coronation of Edward. Their father, Edward IV, had died, but the boys were looked after by their uncle. 
the man who then became Richard III when he seized the throne. Richard wrote the boys out of the succession, labelling them illegitimate, and took the throne for himself. But then the boys disappeared. It's assumed that they were murdered, and under a staircase centuries later inside the Tower of London, the remains of two boys from the time period were found. The skeletal remains of Edward V and Richard of Shrewsbury, the Duke of York, were placed in a monument, and this was then placed inside the Lady Chapel. One grandson of Henry VII, as he intended, would lay inside of his chapel, and that boy is Edward VI, the successor to the notorious King, King Henry VIII, who much hope for the Tudor dynasty was placed at his feet. But Edward died at an early age, and he was then laid to rest alongside his grandfather in the same chapel. In a room off the main part of the chapel lays the remains of one of England's greatest monarchs, Elizabeth I, the granddaughter of Henry VII and daughter of Henry VIII. Elizabeth, during her reign, would defeat the Spanish Armada, but possibly her biggest threat lies in a room opposite of Elizabeth. Mary, Queen of Scots, was also laid to rest in the Lady Chapel, and was moved there during the reign of her son, James I, who was the first king to reign over England and also Scotland, when the Tudor era ended and the Stuart period began. There was also a number of high-ranking nobles interred there, for example, Anne de Mowbray, the child bride of Richard the Duke of York, the Prince in the Tower, and also Elizabeth Cavendish and Esme Stuart, the second Duke of Richmond, are buried. George II, following his death, was also buried there and is considered the most recent monarch to be buried inside of Westminster Abbey. He left specific instructions for the sides of his and his wife's coffin to be removed so that their remains could mingle and mix in death. James I, the first Stuart monarch, was also buried here and lies closely to his mother, Mary, Queen of Scots. Mary I, or Bloody Mary, was also buried inside the chapel and she wished to be buried next to her mother, Catherine of Aragon, but was buried at Westminster Abbey in a tomb that she went on to share with her half-sister, Elizabeth I. But today, it's only Elizabeth's effigy that marks the site. The inscription on the tomb states, Consorts in realm and tomb, we sisters Elizabeth and Mary, here lie down to sleep in hope of the resurrection. So despite the Catholic Mary and the Protestant Elizabeth having their differences, they lay at rest together. Also interred in the Lady Chapel are George Monk, the first Duke of Albemarle, and George Villas, the first Duke of Buckingham, James Butler, the first Duke of Ormond, James Hamilton, the 6th and 7th Earl of Abercorn, and John Sheffield, the 1st Duke of Buckingham and Normandy, and Lodwick Stuart, the 2nd Duke of Lennox, and Prince William, the Duke of Gloucester, the son of Queen Anne. Mary II, the Queen who co-reigned with her husband William III, was also buried in Henry VII's chapel, as was Oliver Cromwell. Cromwell, the Lord Protector, who was the leading force behind Parliament's victory over Charles I in the English Civil War, was also the man behind the King's execution, but Cromwell's body would be ripped from its resting place in the Abbey, and would be then dragged through London and was posthumously executed, being hanged in chains and then hacked to pieces, before his decaying head was displayed as a traitor and as a regicide. The final burial of note inside the Lady Chapel is William III of England, who co-reigned with his wife. But the Lady Chapel is an iconic part of Westminster Abbey, where kings and queens are buried in a beautiful and ornate part of one of the most iconic buildings in the kingdom. It is not known whether the future monarchs will be interred there, as most royal burials now take place in Windsor Castle. Thank you for watching, and to support, please subscribe to Her Remarkable History. Thank you.